Okay, so I just put this together to sort of explain the mood. So the song is far enough along to sort of follow this. And normally I don't write this out, but somehow I gotta show the thought process, so. Those are the two Green Nail albums that I want to pull from. Warning for its writing style, 21st Century Breakdown for its Sonics. But I want it to be like if Green Day had a Clash influenced song. 21st Century Breakdown, I'm the calling through the faraway towns. On Magnum Opus of the Inglorious Kind. So, what we gotta do is imitate Green Day imitating the Clash. And so. <laughs> The sky is low This is what I got so far for the melody And I don't know if it'll stick, these parts just kind of Kind of flow together Like uh See, I already know that the chords are gonna have to be, gonna have to change. A lot of the time when I'm doing just melodies, I just sing gibberish. And then I'll track these demo vocals as like gibberish too. that aren't actually there but your brain keeps telling you they're there and then you just do that enough times until it's done basically and no one to write cause I'm a girl no matter much what you suppose look out see I'm pretty much filming everything for this video if you're wondering why I'm not in it as much that is why. <laughs> you got a smile as you're reading the book. It's <laughs> reading about there's a couple of mob tops from Liverpool singing songs about love. <laughs> <laughs> now what I did for Rome, when I was demoing it and recording the vocals and stuff, I pitched everything up to sound like chipmunks because that way I wouldn't hear my own voice. It would it could be anybody and it was easier to imagine it being Green Day, so it was easier to get that Green Day style. <laughs> It's got to sound kind of like a superhero thing, like a look out, boom, boom. I'll show you, I'll just do it. Check, 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 look out, it's your average working man. Yeah, that guitar doesn't really work though, so everything's just too straight. So I want to try to even out the straightness of everything with bass that's like boom, 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 boom. This feels like the 73 questions video, you know what I'm talking oh, yeah. about? <laughs> You're a bass guy, why don't you talk about some bass? <laughs> yeah, we're about to finish the bass on this song. We're going for that clashy, clash kind of boom, 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 boom vibe. Tell me more. It makes me think of, uh, if anyone ever watched Veggie Ta Tales, it was when the <laughs> David and Goliath guy was falling down. It's like a giant falling down, like boom.
what it would sound like if they actually recorded these songs like as modern pop. <laughs> like, it'd it would be, be completely different. It'd be drastically different than these. We should just record one of their the songs in the style of like actual full blown pop just to show people what it would actually sound like if they were pop. And he's getting it transferred into the fact that I had a yeah, I'll, 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 I'll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I read a George Martin quote saying that with a bunch of Beatles songs, he would give everything a top and a tail, which is basically like a really good intro and like a really iconic ending. I'll just take whatever the cool little part is from anywhere in the song and sort of make that like the intention grabber beginning. So right now there's a fade in into the rip and I sped it all up. It was just like, too slow. In verse one, I'm picturing him like in this train station, going to a show. Verse two, I'm picturing him in the show. driver becomes the dad, then the dad makes like the, I mean, a rumor or something about the, about the maid, and then gets her fired, and then the driver will recommend a different maid, which is his wife. show starts let's enjoy an intermission so in 2009 know your enemy came out also in 2009 Katy Perry is popular so this is what know your enemy would have sounded like if it was actually poppy with Katy Perry the verses are really sort of like staccato like short little hooks The pre-choruses are these long phrases. You could travel the world, in your mouth from a heart the world. And then the choruses are like these anthems. Millennial whoop. There's a name for when the notes go ba da 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 in a song because it sounds really good to millennials. 
which is us. So the song needed some strings to kind of fit the story of like the guy being at a classy show and stuff like that. So I wrote out some string parts that felt creepy. <laughs> show you the parts to, to sing like and feeling like clean sheets are to a bloody nose shoots past the high class you're not flying high the sky is low like making angels out of crows look out it's your so this harmony was a little tough because it changes keys halfway through the harmony and I wanted it to change keys right as it says the line now you're the ones out of key so this is how this is how it was Okay, so editing the video, we realized that we never said that you should comment and like and subscribe and all of that stuff you're supposed to say at the end of YouTube videos. So comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah.